How is it going everybody? You're watching the Naval Tech and in this video I'm gonna answer one simple question. Should you subscribe to iCloud Plus? And well, it depends. It's not a yes or no question because it depends on your situation, on your scenario. But I'm sure that by the end of the video you'll know what's best for you. Okay, so let's get started and first things first, let me explain you what iCloud Plus really is. So iCloud Plus is iCloud's subscription service. So iCloud, as you know, is Apple's cloud storage service, which is free. Uh, as you buy an iPhone or any Apple product, you have the right to get five gigabytes of iCloud storage for free completely for your life but five gigabytes is pretty much nothing nowadays. So then you have the possibility of subscribing to iCloud Plus, which is a paid subscription service, and then have more storage, like 50 gigabytes, 200 gigabytes, or even more, like two terabytes. By now, most people already know what iCloud is and what it does and what it's used for, but if you're not really 100% sure on this, if you're new to the Apple universe, or maybe you never really understood iCloud as a whole, I do recommend that you watch a video that I have right here on the channel where I explain you what iCloud really is. So we'll have a card right here and link in the description so you can go ahead, check it out and see what iCloud really is because in this video we're gonna focus on iCloud Plus which is the specific subscription service of iCloud, okay? So, in this video I have to answer this simple question. Is it worth it or not? Should you subscribe or not? And the answer is actually pretty simple and it relies on pretty much two important factors. Factor number one, it has to do with the type of use that you have on your devices. And factor number two, it has to do with your Apple devices themselves. So your iPhone, your iPad, your Mac, it depends on the devices you have. So you gotta understand and you gotta think about those two factors to make up your mind if iCloud Plus is relevant, interesting, and necessary for you or not if it's just a waste of money. As you know, you can't really store anything that you want in iCloud. So that's why it's important to understand if iCloud is interesting for your use, because you can pretty much just, just store three types of files, three big categories of files in iCloud. One, your photos and videos, two, your documents, and three, your backups and that's pretty much it that you can store and that's extremely important because i see this all the time you have somebody with an iphone that has a full storage and it's completely full the iphone is lagging a lot it's completely buggy it's crashing all the time because the storage is full of course and then they think okay I'll subscribe just to iCloud Plus, I'll get 50 gigabytes or 200 gigabytes or more, and then I'll throw everything in iCloud. I'll get all of those files, all of those apps, everything that I have on my iPhone and I'm gonna throw in iCloud, and then I'm gonna free up my iPhone storage and fix the problem. But that's the thing, you can't really store everything that's on your iPhone in iCloud. Like for example, your apps. You can't really throw your iPhone apps into iCloud and then free up that storage on your iPhone. It doesn't work like that. All your apps and the file inside your apps, they need to be physically stored right here inside your iPhone. So you can't really go ahead and throw them in iCloud. So depending on how you use your iPhone and what's your problem exactly, it's so important to understand if iCloud Plus is or not necessary. So imagine a scenario where somebody has a ton of heavy, very large apps on their iPhone and the storage is completely full, but they don't really have photos and videos or documents on the iPhone, but the storage is full. And if this person go, goes ahead and subscribe to iCloud Plus, nothing will change because they won't be able to go ahead and free up that storage, putting those apps into iCloud. So then there's no point subscribing to iCloud Plus in this specific situation. Of course, if you have photos and videos, if you have a ton of documents on your iPhone, then it is interesting to go ahead and subscribe to iCloud Plus and then throw all of that data 
into iCloud and free up your storage. And by the way, I have videos here on the channel where I teach you all of that that I'm talking about. How to put your photos and videos in iCloud and free up storage, how to manage your documents in iCloud, everything like that. I have all those videos in the description and cards as well, so check it out. So that's factor number one. Factor number two, as I mentioned, has to do with the devices you have, the devices themselves. So if your iPhone or maybe your Mac or maybe your iPad, the app device that you have and this is relevant because depending on the Apple devices you have you don't really need iCloud let's say you have an iPhone with one terabyte of internal storage same thing with your iPad same thing with your Mac if you have Apple devices that have a ton of storage of available internal storage there's no point subscribing to iCloud plus you're just wasting money because you don't need it. I mean, it's very unlikely that you fill one terabyte of your iPhone storage with apps, files, photos, and videos, and all that. So then you have to pay attention and keep in mind that you only need iCloud Plus if you don't have enough storage on your iPhone or your other devices. If you have a 64 gig iPhone or 128 even nowadays and you see that the storage is full, okay, iCloud Plus is a great idea if you know how to manage and how to use it, but if you don't need it, if you have plenty of internal storage on your Apple devices, there's just no point. And we have to talk about backup because backup is extremely important if you're talking about iCloud and a ton of people may be saying iCloud Plus is always necessary, is always important and you should always subscribe because of backups, because of the iCloud backup. And I don't really agree with that because of course you have the possibility of backing up to your computer. So if you don't want to, and if you don't need to, like if you have uh, enough storage on your Apple devices, therefore you don't need iCloud Plus, there's no point, there's no need to get iCloud Plus just for your backups because you can backup to your computer. You can perform a computer backup, an iTunes backup, which is completely free, and it does the exact same thing. So again, another tip for another video here, if you don't know how to back up your iPhone to your computer, Windows or Mac, I have a video here on the channel, again, link in the description and card so you can check it out. So, conclusion of this video to make very, very clear, iCloud Plus is great. I personally subscribe to iCloud Plus, I have two terabytes in iCloud Plus because I store a ton of documents, all of my photos and videos, backups and all of that, but as I said, it's not mandatory, it's not necessary and it depends on your use. So keep that in mind, understand that you can't really store everything in iCloud, just some types of files as I mentioned and also check if it's important for you, if maybe you don't need it don't get it if you have plenty of storage left on your devices there's no point but of course always make sure to have your backups so then if you want you can back up to your computer and you can do absolutely everything be safe be great without having to spend that cash every single month on iCloud Plus it's your choice it's your decision and that's it so hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one right here on Danabal Tech see you later guys